Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, We're the, the Crafty Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. You know, it seems like life just keeps getting busier oh and busier gosh. and busier. And I'm someone, I like to make lists. I like to plan, I like to think ahead, uh, but it's hard to keep up. He makes all the lists I and do. there's usually like paper everywhere, notes here, or there. So we're gonna try to combine everything, keep it really easy and make a dry erase board out of a frame we found on discount. Yes, and we're actually gonna be trying two new uh, craft things that we've never done before. Yeah. We're going to try to cut contact paper from the dollar store with our Cricut Maker. And we're gonna try to use our Maker X airbrush on glass. Yes, first time for everything. I'm excited <laughs> to try this. Yes, and then I hope it helps us just figure things out. Sure. <laughs> All right, so Dennis is cutting the vinyl that we got at the dollar store. It's actually contact paper. Now, we have all our little stencils that we created on Design Space. We're just gonna make sure that it's mirrored because we're going to be adding these to the back of the glass. So then when you see it, it's gonna be the right way. And we have it on vinyl setting. There is no contact paper setting, so we're hoping it's gonna work, we'll see. The best thing about the Cricut Maker is that it's pretty uh, forgiving. We've uh, messed up a lot, picked wrong settings and things like that, and the machine always bounces back. And in fact, if there's any problems, the machine will actually stop. You know, they can detect if something's going wrong or something's, you know, not working out. You know, so that's also a plus to the machine. This just makes um, the work so much easier. Our first little labels are done. We're gonna see what we had here. It looks like it cut out pretty yeah, it pretty looks like smoothly. It's pretty you can't well. see it on camera, but uh, we're going to cut out our next labels there and see yeah, how it, it works out. It didn't cut through, so I think we're good. Awesome. Am I the only one that likes to smell all this stuff? It reminds me of like a pool liner or a uh, like inflatable for the pool. I like it to smell. <laughs> Okay, now that everything is cut, it's our favorite part, dealing with the math. It's like something we, are, it's not our strongest point, and that's all I'm gonna say. To keep it easy, we just put a big mat down, so we're gonna line the frame up, and hopefully that's gonna help us out. Each stencil is cut three inches wide, and we have seven of them, so we're just gonna equally distribute them. Yes, and always before getting started, we like to clean the surface off. That's good to think about for any Cricut project. You wanna prep your surface, so we just use some Windex on a paper towel, and we're getting it nice and clean, and then before we do anything, Thing, we're gonna let this dry. Yeah, and that's also gonna help, cleaning it's also gonna help with uh, the airbrush as well, because you really want it to adhere nice and nice and clean, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look who came, look who came to help. Hi, Teddy. Little Teddy, let's see how these look. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah. You do want to be careful when you pull them because uh, regular vinyl is a little more durable. This can stretch a little bit, so yeah, this is, is Dennis is being nice and yeah, delicate. Yeah, you want to be delicate. And uh, we're going to start actually with Wednesday in the center. So we already determined our frame is about 27, so we're going to do half of 27, which I believe is 13 and a half. Is that right? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, and we're just going to lay our sticker down here. And again, I like the grid here because um, it helps me keep everything lined up nice and straight. I can look at uh, the different areas here. And again, we like to start in the center and work our way out just because it gives us a good starting point. Oh All right, goodness. we're still confused. <laughs> we decided we wanted an inch border. So we're starting with um, the Saturday and Sundays. But remember, we're not reading it as Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're reading it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because it's all back. It's all going to flip over. And we're, we're just saying that to remind ourselves. Really. <laughs> yes, it's really for us. <laughs> all right, new tip. We decided to add a ruler here to use as a guide, uh, just to kind of have, uh, figure out where these should be lined up. Yes, and another tip is uh, just have your boyfriend do all the work. And <laughs> yes. And hold the yes. ruler, it, it's a big help. But that definitely helps. You know, yes. we kind of learn as we go and kind of come up with these tips and hacks. I know, we try to be as prepared, sometimes. but you know, it's just like, you know. Yeah. All right, it's looking pretty good though. It looks so good. You can <laughs> totally does. look at, uh, leave it like this. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we wanted to try cutting contact paper with our Cricut Maker. You know, it works. It, works. it looks great. Yeah, now we're gonna see how the airbrush does with glass. Now this is something we haven't tried before, so we're really excited about it, but we're really hopeful. So we're just gonna cover our table with actually some wrapping paper, just so, you know, everything doesn't get painted and we're gonna start painting. Here's the airbrush. It's super easy to connect. You just connect it to the hub, just like this. 
And then here's the airbrush paint. We just got this on Amazon. You just really want to shake it up well. And then we're just going to add it right into here. Uh, just like less than half I usually do. And then you can always add more as you go. Yes, and we actually decided we're gonna do a test piece of glass first, just because we took uh, all of that time and did all that hard work to make sure it was all uh, level. Yes. Uh, so we don't wanna start spraying and then we don't like it or it doesn't work. Uh, we always recommend testing it on, uh, you know, something else, not the actual, you know, yes. project. All right. All right, I'm gonna turn it on and I have the glass a little bit out of an angle, just so it's easier to spray and let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's looking really Oh my gosh, I'm thinking all the projects like this. Yes. So cool. Wow, it looks pretty. It does. It looks really great so far. We're gonna add a second color here, just a little teal. Yeah, and I just rinsed it out with just a little bit of water, but now I'm just gonna add it in and then I'm just gonna spray it on a piece of paper until the pink runs out and then it's just teal. All right. There we go. There you go. Looks good. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to be really yeah, yeah. careful as I hold this, just so I don't smudge the pink. The pink. All right. Here we go. Oh. So oh, it works. It I works. Mean, yes, airbrushing on glass works. We're gonna uh, let this dry for a long time, and then we're gonna remove Ooh, our contact paper and see. And then how we're it like looks. basically done. Yeah, oh my gosh! All there. right, all right. It's been drying for about an hour and a half, maybe two. It looks pretty good. Yes. To not damage the paint, we're going to use a craft knife here, just to kind of slide it into the contact paper and then lift. Um, we thought that would be the best way. Let's see. What... Ooh, oh my gosh! Big reveal. Wow. All right. Pretty cute. Oh. oh my gosh, yes. Wow. All right, now we're just gonna continue. This it could be a phone case or something. Oh my gosh. Like a phone cover. It looks oh so awesome! It really does. Yes. So we're gonna take a piece of poster board, cut it to size of the frame, and put the frame together, and... and we're ready to start planning. Oh my gosh. It looks, I, it looks I didn't really think good. it was gonna I, go this well. I kind of didn't either. <laughs> but it was really fun to try things that we weren't sure were gonna work out and they did. Yes, so. it was a fun crafty afternoon using uh, materials we already had and also stuff that we found at the dollar store and on clearance, it really which was. is a win-win. Yes. Uh, let us know, are you a list maker like by hand or do you like to do things digitally? Let us know in a comment below. Yes, we wanna hear. Yeah, and I guess we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. You have your space in need of some sprucing. Couple of guys worth introducing. They know their way around the craft store. Finding deals and oh so much more. What should you put in your kitchen nook? Trust Dennis and Andrew. They wrote the book. A little bit of glitter and creativity. Crafting up some fun is their cup of tea. Bring your hot glue gun. Grab some snacks. Time to get artsy with the Crafty Lumberjacks. Can't read my cue card.